Hello, welcome back. Last time I did one bridge puzzle, and then I got sniped by a puzzle that was a whole lot harder than it looked. Uh, why is there a green skull in the water? I can hold initial state now and see markings. Oh. Alright, so my fix for that is incomplete. So yes, I can do that, but... Tile markings aren't included, only entity markings? Really? Yeah, so those are there, but not the tile? Okay, well... <laughs> oops. <laughs> This is why I test things here and, uh, before I uh, send them out. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that room alone for now. And uh, just go elsewhere for a bit. I could try another approach to it, but now just doesn't seem to be the time. So, anyway, back out here. Let's try, can I approach this puzzle in a way that would let me do it? Yes. Okay, so. Looks like I'm in place to do things in No Way Out. So, things to kill. One, two, three, four. Okay. So one of you is going to have to act as a bridge to get over here. This is odd. I'm sure you have your reasons. Two bumbugs way. So it's not going to be this. That's inaccessible until the room is clear. Won't be elevating anything. Oh, this is, uh... No way out, you say. For example... Uh, also... There's a secondary problem. No way out for both of us. So I suppose what needs to happen... Okay, so I see what the setup is, I think. This needs to end up here. And I go in there and push this there and make sure this is toggled that way. I'm not 100% clear on the purpose of this. So doesn't that just mean something as simple as... Say this? Because like I can just toggle that and it's already the way, right way around. Okay, but then the puzzle becomes... How do I kill this thing from a good spot? Turner is not going to evaluate in a way that lets me survive this. Okay. But I can... Oh, but there's grass there. <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Alright, this is an interesting conundrum. So, that's what happens when I do the obvious. I don't yet know why you're there. I'm sure you have your reasons. They are unclear to me. If that were down and I was in here somehow, I could push this around and, I mean... There are stepping stones there. That's the trick. Okay, so underneath the curtains. Oh, those have stepping stones too. Okay, I should uh, look at curtains on the water. They might not just be waterfalls. There may be secrets behind these waterfalls. Whoops. Uh, whoops. Dang it. Ah! So yeah, perhaps all waterfalls are walkable. All the ones I've looked at so far. Okay. So, that means this is my way out, maybe? And I can actually go here, in theory. Alright, I follow you. The problem is, how am I going to get this here? I'm not. I will use this instead. Mm, will I now? And how do you think that's going to happen? Okay, I have an idea how that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, this is tricky and crafty, and I love it. You come over here and just kind of stash for a moment. You do what you did before. I will... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. You come over a bit and down a bit. And you'll get scared. That's okay. Bring you all the way back here. 
Oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, so fine little joke. Do that. I actually went it the other way around. So you can't run to the south. Because you'll have to be in that spot and explode this north so I can get it here. Room is clear. I have a tool to get myself through. There we go. Look at that trickery. All right, I'll just have to get that key later, assuming I can come back around somehow. Okay, so I'm on a little journey now. This goes upward. Okay. Well, I can restore to the start of this if I need to. So that's fine. Uh, there's a room to the south, and it connects to this in some way, which is interesting. Uh, all the slugs are crawling all over these graves. I think that I can tell what this is. That, that, that room title gives me a hint, though. <laughs> Even without that, I think it would read as a cemetery. Okay, is there anything to this? Just kill, kill, kill? Perhaps there's going to be problems getting to where I need to make my kills. Because, like, a lot of poison's being laid down. Oh, oh, they trapped themselves. Let's go up and back, maybe, because it feels like starting from there could be... Or if I just kind of hang out here, maybe I can just intercept everybody. Will there be another issue? My ladder's slimed up and I'm trapped. That counts as an issue. I can unslime the ladder, but I don't think I'm getting to the rest of the slugs. Am I? Certainly not this one. Okay. So that's the conundrum. Uh, before I do that, I need to know who you are. So let's mark Slug J. Slug J, you are a little bit of an issue. I'm going to give you an X, and I'm going to make it a color that stands out. Okay. Does that stand out enough? Sure. All right, Slug J is this one. And uh, this slug also is an issue. Slug D. Whoops. Uh, right. So that's if I just want to peek at the, the thing behind my notes. I haven't used these notes. I'm finding the marks a lot more useful. So you get a slightly differently colored mark, just in case I want to distinguish the two. You're also an issue here. Okay, so you get... A blue X. Alright, so those are the three I could not easily kill in this setup. And there are no mechanisms I can probe at to help with that. So if I could get those three very quickly on entry and still get... How quickly did I have to go over here? I had a couple of turns to spare, but honestly not a lot. So as soon as one of those has pressed down, I mean, I could go in here myself. Uh, no, I would need a slug's help for that to be acceptable. And even so... No, that's fine. Okay, so I have a bit of time to get there. Can I kill purple, pink, and blue? Not blue. Blue is just going in there and there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so then... Other issues... Only Slug E... Alright, Slug E gets a circle. Slug B gets a different circle. And none of the others seem to be bound for that location at a glance. Alright, so we got like these two factions. Those are my prime targets. I know that they're all kind of close to this ladder. So I think I would do best to enter from here. Oh, that's fun. I'm back in my airship now. Okay, so I can leave. All right, cool. What does it look like over here? Okay, sure. Ah, oh, this is cool. Anyway, so, uh, Slimy Cemetery. So let's just go for whatever high value target is closest. 
So I couldn't get to that one in time, and going this way would not make that any better, actually. What if I ignore... well, okay, so you died that way. I'm now... as... since I'm here with access to this, I'll kill you now. You will get me access to that exit again. However, pink X did not go where it needed to. What do I call that color? Magenta X did not get killed. And that's very important. This is some sort of poison traversal device, I think. Am I too late for purple circle? Yes. Okay, so get purple circle and a magenta X at the same time. How? Well, maybe like this. Problem is, oh, if two go in at once, that's more okay. Because that stays open. That's less okay. I needed to have been on the door quicker. Okay, so you're not an issue. This one is. Can I get on that door? Well, not anymore. I lost my chance. Yeah, no getting through there. So there's like some stuff going on here and I don't understand it entirely. I suppose you're still accessible if I have... if I can reach down here. Like this just sort of clears up the poison and this is some kind of traversal mechanism for that. Okay. Could I ignore Magenta X for a moment? While I deal with these two troublemakers? I don't think I can, because now it's unresolvable. Hmm. Alright, what if Magenta X is the first one I can go for? Or what if I enter from down there? Since you are a problem very quickly, actually, uh, I can get out this way. So starting from here. Starting from here. I can't get to purple circle quickly enough though, right? Right. Is there a way I could have? What if I go straight there without making any kills other than what I absolutely need to traverse? I would make it on time. Okay, so if I'm efficient enough with my magenta kill... I'm not, though. I don't think I can be. That's the best I can do. Yeah, you don't stay put there. Okay, so let's try this again. It does feel like this is the entrance I want. Uh-oh, Megan sniped again. <laughs> Getting a little bit of a 36 pillars feeling in here. Of like, it's not gonna be clear whether something's viable until I play it out all the way. Alright, purple circle is bound for the place. Ah, dang it, but I can't get it from that angle, so I have to go all the way around here to do that. Now, what's the problem with the other circles? So I marked magenta circle, but I need a blue circle too. You could be an issue, sort of, but you're of a different nature than... Uh, Okay, yeah, so I didn't spot... Yeah, again, my at a glance did not spot that you were bound for this. Okay. So those outer ones, not an issue at all. The inner ones are where all my problems are. 
Okay, so I think this is just a uh, figure out how you can traverse and kill without getting trapped. So I don't let, like letting Purple Circle go, but if I do, for that long, can I still catch up with Magenta X? I am one step short of being able to. Okay, can I have saved a step somewhere? Oops. Uh. Maybe if I kill those two in a different order? Okay, so I read it here. That's worse. That's the same. Yeah, one short of being able to do it. Could one of those have been left alive for a moment? No, it would kill me. Okay, well let's examine kill order again then. Maybe blue circle I don't go for yet. As bad as this looks, it could be better. It's not, it is one worse, like it felt like it would be. Okay, so could I maybe remove this problem quickly and still get everywhere I'm going? Right, those fires are put out. I think I have to ignore this fire to get here in time, and I did. Okay, that's encouraging. Alright, I can just sort of dig my way in here, right? This is very encouraging, except that that ladder is slimed up. However, I have a way out, so I don't need the ladder. Okay, now, problem is I don't have a way down. Yes, I do! Look at that sneaky little crafty path. Okay, I found it. That's why this, and that's why this. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, so this is going to be some sort of throughway down in this room, so I need to go up here and around and down or something. Cool. All right. That was neat. Now, uh, there's a waypoint up here. That's how I can escape. Query. Uh, query is already answered by something I remembered. Uh, and also the answer is no. I was wondering if I could avoid activating this, therefore have no way out from the other waypoint, but no, that's unavoidable. And also, optional paths or keys may become inaccessible upon room clear. If you think you permanently missed out on something, consider using the restore system. Yeah, okay. So, uh, let me check if I've missed out on anything here. No, I can clearly still get that key. And I did not spot anything that would indicate... Okay, so yeah, that waypoint is over here. That one is, uh, missable, sorta. Okay, well, let's claim that prime key. This is very intricate. Okay, cool. So I think I did one little mini-adventure there. So how do you suppose I'd get in here? Well, I'd use two prime keys. I have one. If I wanted another one, I would look... Somewhere I've never been be Oh no, hang on, here's one. Okay, star-crossed lovers, I've stepped into that room before. Let's go back there again. Really, I'm pushing my luck. <laughs> There's like a challenge sign or something in here. Alright, how involved is this? It's trip to Slumari, so maybe extremely, but maybe not. Sta there are two statues. Two is a lot less than 36. Alright, let's try it. So, sacrifice altar for that kill, sacrifice altar for this kill, but don't do both simultaneously or you'll never die. So at different times, those need to be sacrificed.
So, looking at allocations, it seems like statue here, statue here, bumbug here, bumbug here is what is being called for. If I walk in there, I had better... Oh, I better do that now-ish. What kills this? So statues are coming. I'm going to ignore them for a second and just do this and... Whoa, I need this death to be delayed? No, no, I can kill it myself. So these do have to be simultaneous. Okay, I misread. Also, there's a sign. Which I can't read until I'm done here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, simultaneous sacrifices. That shouldn't be too bad. So just statue. Oh, hello, flying snake. I'm sure you have a purpose. I don't know it yet. But I'm sure you do. So given these have to be simultaneous, I can't use statue pushing here. I might see the flying snake's purpose. Oh, that's not usable for that purpose. I was thinking to put it here to act as a statue catcher. Also, statue stepped on that thing, so snake's coming. Uh, let's use a bomb bike as a blocker instead. And how do I imagine that's going to work? Oops. No, 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 no. Hmm. I'm currently imagining it probably won't. Uh, yeah, Snake is here. Uh, that's unfortunate. I might have wanted this? Okay, it's not like incredibly far off from what I want, but it's not right. In several different ways. How does a statue ever die in either of these spots? Am I sure it does? Not completely. But that is what it seems like. What are you for? Uh oh, there's a lot of variables here. <laughs> if you look at the video runtime, does it go on for another hour from here? <laughs> I don't know yet. Ah. Uh... Does seem to be the pattern, though. Okay. Also, how's this bomb bug coming out of here? Also, how's... No, no, I can awaken this trivially. Wait, you're a problem. Oh, I have a problem right here. That bomb bug doesn't come out. Wait, no, this is in line. Okay, I didn't see somehow. I, I thought I, I read this as being one south of here. No, that is in line. So step here to pull that way, step here to pull that way. So basically I need essentially infinite time to uh, do the back and forth. So statues have to both be dead by the time I'm pulling that bum bug around. This one though, I get as my pet immediately. And I can have this pet whenever I want it. Okay. What are these two doing for me exactly? The snake especially, I'm kind of scratching my head about. It could be that these are not going on the sacrifice altars. Maybe that's the obvious answer that's actually incorrect. Like, I could kill a flying snake on one of these at the same moment that a... 
bomb bug. Okay, that is a pit, so it does have to be same turn toggle. There isn't any of that one turn leeway like with um, with the mechanisms used in Tower of Destiny, where uh, it can be like one turn apart with the monster blocks scaring the bomb bugs and like. What's that room called? Spectacles. Yeah, that one lets you be one turn apart. This does not. This has to be actually simultaneous. Doing it with a double toggle is clever. And a lot more compact than what I did. Okay, so... Except I guess you need this whole mechanism to make sure you have to stay alive, so I don't know. Some compactness. Trade-offs. Okay, so route number one, statues in water, bomb bugs blow up, monster blocks. Issues with that are is statues are really hard to move around and the spot where I want to make the kill is incredibly inconvenient. Even ignoring the other problems with approaching from like, statue goes this way, I go this way, there's the problem of it's definitely going to push the monster block into the water. Unless I, like, prevent them with a flying snake? Good luck. But then there's the issues of, uh, statue's not gonna go down here in the first place, really? Certainly not in a way that lets me be up here... ...at a time to kill them. So, a statue approaching from above, though... Like, this angle is too shallow. So I can't get, like, just wait down here for a statue to come to me. It'll come in the back way. Could I have a smooth surface here? One bomb bug and somehow a flying snake? Snake's not gonna stay. do for me. If I'm on the other side of a wall from you, you can be a stable barrier to something moving. If I'm not on the other side of a wall from you, you can be a moving disruption of some sort. One, two, three, four... Okay, now if I were east of this point, I would only need one barrier here. Okay, let's try that theory. Uh, I didn't fully explain what I was doing there, but I think you saw what I was thinking. Yeah, I can't be east of that point quickly enough. Also, you let the snake out. Alright, so I'm not quick enough to pull that off. Bomb in the other position is not useful. Flying snakes move order relative to the statues is earlier. But I would need two snakes. One can't be enough of a barrier. Like, you would get two opportunities to slide. Ah, would you? So what am I imagining here? Flying snake is currently... There? I can't be certain that's impossible. Sure doesn't look very likely, though. And once I'm here, everything is pretty bad for me. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll give myself... Five more minutes max, and if I don't have any traction in this room, I'm just gonna put it in the pile with the other two and uh, walk away and have an another idea another day. Let's just get a shape of the room. Like, what is it? What is it telling me? I understand my goal in general. I mean, sacrifice simultaneously here. That's the... That's the rigid part. The flexible part is who it's sacrificed here. Alright, candidates. 
Got two bomb bugs, two statues, one flying snake, two monster blocks. They, these are hot, so the monster blocks will naturally die on them. Maybe I don't have to fill in both of these. Okay, could I get a statue into one? Yes. So, let's try a partial something. So as preparation, I would do this, and I'll... Uh, quit stepping on my thing! Alright, I can convince you to quit stepping on my thing. Bombug's gonna move? Okay, that's fine. You go north one. Yeah! Now I'm stepping on my thing. I'm just kind of assuming I can do something productive with that flying snake later. Also, this didn't work. I can't lead you back where I want you. Like, I want you there and then here, but you, you're not gonna do those things at the same time. Actually, no, this is fine. No, 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 this is fine. Yeah, so like that. This statue comes here. Aye! <laughs> Alright, a little norther. Now you're too slow. Can a snake friend solve that problem? I kind of doubt it. Maybe though. Uh, how would it? Whoa! <laughs> Has it been five minutes? Not yet. I still have a little bit of time. Okay. Okay, so here's another thing. Monster blocks are not free. They're pretty locked up here. Yeah, there is there is no possibility of extracting these. Unless I already have a bomb bug down here and a stepping stone there. And the reason I'd want to extract one... Uh, this is also just completely enclosed. Reason I'd want to extract one is to scare a bomb bug down here because a bomb bug will not naturally get into this row. So these are not available to bomb bugs. I can sacrifice a flying snake on one. Like that's definitely something I can do. There. Okay. Okay. So things that can go on here. A uh, statue can. Right, let's make sure that's true. It's not something I haven't thought about about that. Monster blocks still need to be taken care of somehow. And as far as I can tell, that does require eventually having stepping stones here, because I need an explosion to move these. I have exactly two explosions. One cannot do both. And there's no way they're getting down here. Hold on. But let's... No, 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 no. I already said a bomb bug cannot go to either of these spots. I was thinking about one stepping stone, explode here, bring this out, use the other one to... Uh, uh, scare a bomb bug down there. Because extra sacrifices are not acceptable. No. Unless I do another two at once. This needs to stay alive until the very end of the room. Wow. Okay. Alright, uh, my five minutes are more or less up. This is spectacular, but I have no idea what to do here. <laughs> okay. Alright, room's added to the pile. Wow. So, options I still have. Can I attempt shipyard? I think so? Uh, yeah, I can use you to get in there. Alright, I think this puzzle is open to me. You're not on the list, I'm pretty sure I can do. Party in the woods, I think I can access after... Ooh, look where you are. Okay, that's how to get to you. Nothing over here, by the way. Something up here, by the way, that I have not been to, and this might be the path to it. Or this might... Hang on, what did I just spot here? Is that a way I can just go? Uh, what am I looking at? Mmm, 
there's a whole complex in there, but the the access to this might be from here. That seems very possible. Because, yeah, you're out here to call my attention to this spot, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Have I met my match? Am I going to be able to get this done? I'm pretty sure. I feel very confident about this one. It's just going to take a lot more time. This one requires an insight I haven't had yet, but I think it's going to be very simple once I do, because there's just not that many parts in it. There are a lot of parts in this room, so I just have to figure out where each one goes. Yeah, so it feels like, of these rooms, like, this is one end of a spectrum, this is the other end of a spectrum, and this is right in the middle between the two. In terms of, like, having an insight and just having a lot of pieces shuffled into place. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is an experience. Next time I'm gonna try another room, I guess, unless I have an idea about some of the ones I've already looked at.